Hello everyone, welcome back to Asha.academy. Today, let me take you through a lesson called Indigo by Louis Fisher. This lesson, it's an excerpt from the life of Mahatma Gandhi. Characters Mahatma Gandhi, Indian national leader, Taj Kumar Shukla, a sharecropper from Bihar, Rajendra Prashad, lawyer and later the president of India. Professor J.B. Kripalani from Arts College, Muzaffarpur, Professor Malkani, a teacher in government school, Sir Edward Gate, Lieutenant Governor, Kasturba, wife of Gandhiji, Charles Freer Andrews, follower of Gandhiji. Places mentioned in the lesson. British Official Commission from Tirhat, Champaran, which is a district in Bihar, Musafarpur, which is again in Bihar, Motihari, which is the capital of Champaran, Lucknow, place for convention of Indian National Congress. Look at this picture. This is indigo plant. Not only indigo plant, indigo color. A tropical plant of the pea family, which was formerly widely cultivated as a source of dark blue dye. The dark blue dye obtained from the indigo plant. So what is indigo? It's a name of a plant as well as name of the color. The story Indigo written by Louis Fisher narrates Gandhiji's struggle for the poor peasants of Champaran. Peasants, farmers. Champaran is a name of a place which is located at the foothills of the Himalayas. The peasants were sharecroppers with the British planters. What is a sharecropper? Sharecropper, which means that a tenant farmer who gives a part of each crop as rent. Actually, here in this lesson, sharecropper, he surrendered his entire harvest, that is indigo plant, to the British landlords. Emaciated, abnormally thin or weak, especially because of illness or a lack of food, summons an order to appear before a judge or magistrate, protracted longer than expected. Deposition, out of court, oral testimony of a witness that is reduced to writing for later use in court. Charles Freer Andrews was an Anglican priest and Christian missionary educator and social reformer and an activist for Indian independence. He became a close friend of Rabindranath Tagore and Mahatma Gandhi and identified with the Indian liberation struggle. Sir Edward Albert Gate was an administrator in the Indian civil service who rose to serve as Lieutenant Governor of the Bihar and Orissa province in the Bengal Presidency of British India. Maulana Malarul Haq, a blend of legal luminary, a statesman, an educationist, a journalist, a poet, and a philosopher. So he's a combination of all these things. Dr. Rajendra Prashad was an Indian independence activist, lawyer, scholar, and subsequently the first president of India in office from 1950 to 1962. Kripalani was an environmentalist, mystic and independence activist who was long a Gandhian socialist before joining the economically right-wing Swatantra party later in life. So get to know about where Champaran is located. Champaran is at the foothills of the Himalayas. This is West Champaran and this is East Champaran. Beneath that, we do have Muzaffarpur. The significant problem at Champaran in Bihar is indigo planters. So what is the main problem at Champaran in Bihar? It's all about indigo planters who were compelled, that is Indian peasants, Indian farmers who were compelled to grow indigo plant and they needed to surrender the entire harvest to the British landlords. The European planters forced the peasants to grow indigo on 3 of 20th, 3 20th or 15% of the entire land. 
Germany developed synth synthetic indigo and landlords asked for compensation from sharecroppers to be relieved from the contract. Sharecroppers were unwilling. Problem erupted between two groups. At this point, Gandhiji entered through Rajkumar Shukla to relieve poor sharecroppers from the British landlords. So here you can have a look at this mind map. Mind map here, have a look at this one. From here you'll get to know about the gist of the lesson. So Gandhiji went to many places. These places have been mentioned here in this lesson called Indigo. He went to Lucknow and Kanpur, Ahmedabad, Calcutta, Patna, Muzaffarpur, Champar and Motihari. So here, the very first place, what has been mentioned here in this uh, lesson is Lucknow. In the year 1916, Indian National Congress Party annual convention was held in the place called Lucknow. 2,301 delegates took part in it and not only uh, 2,301 delegates but also many visitors. Only at this place, Rajkumar Shukla, he met Gandhiji. He requested Gandhiji to visit Champaran and to uh, set the sharecroppers out of the clutches of British landlords. Then, he went to Kanpur. Gandhiji went to Kanpur and then to Ahmedabad and then finally he agreed to accompany Rajkumar Shukla when he uh, came back to Calcutta. And then thereafter, both of them boarded train to Patna. And then there, they were about to meet Dr. Rajendra Prashad. But when they arrived, he wasn't present there. Gandhiji wasn't allowed to draw water as those people, they did not know that he was a great personality. Then he went to Muzaffarpur to collect information. He met J.B. Kripalani in Muzaffarpur and he stayed for two days at Professor Malkani's home and accommodating a person who advocate home rule was not an easy a task there. It was an extraordinary task by that time. So when people got to know that Gandhiji had arrived uh, Muzaffarpur, people started thronging uh, the place. That is, lawyers visited him and told the size of the fee for which Gandhiji scolded them. And not only lawyers, Gandhiji was uh, uh, called on by many peasants. Then he got to know that 15% of their holdings with indigo, that is uh, they were compelled to grow 15% of their entire land with indigo plant. So here upon knowing that Germany had developed synthetic indigo Britishers, they compelled Indian peasants to give compensation to them. A few sharecroppers agreed. A few sharecroppers, they denied it. He tried to get facts. Gandhiji tried to get facts here. Then, he visited Secretary of British Landlords Association. Secretary refused information to Gandhi as he was an outsider. Gandhi answered that he was not an outsider. Then he visited British Official Commissioner of Tirhat. He advised him to leave Tirhat. However, Gandhiji did not leave. Instead, he went to Motihari, the capital of Champaran. 
several lawyers accompanied him he went to a nearby village to see maltreated peasant gandhi was stopped from meeting the maltreated peasant there he drove back home he was served with the official notice to quit champaran he received summons gandhi remained awake he telegraphed rajendra prasad to come from bihar with influential friends he sent instructions to ashram he wired full report to the viceroy soon after receiving summons peasants came in thousands around the court house officials sought gandhi's help to regulate the crowd government thought of postponing the trial the authorities wanted to consult their superiors here gandhi ji read out a statement he told the court that he disobeyed not to break law but to render the humanitarian and national service gandhi ji was asked to furnish bail for two hours but gandhi ji refused however the judge released him without bail so gandhi ji was set free lawyers told gandhi that they would go back in case of gandhi was arrested gandhi ji asked what about the injustice to the share croppers lawyers now lawyers were ready to go jail champaran battle is won lieutenant governor dropped case against gandhi civil disobedience triumphed gandhi and lawyers proceeded to enquire into farmers grievances deposition by about 10000 peasants were collected gandhi met associates and held discussions here and even before that one he had four protracted interviews with lieutenant governor lengthy interviews protracted interviews lengthy interviews lieutenant governor appointed an official commission of inquiry into indigo share croppers problems commission consisted of landlords government officials and gandhi so evidence was collected against the planters planters left with no choice planters asked gandhi to quote the amount they expected gandhi ji to demand full amount but gandhi demanded only 50% but finally planters suggested for 25% and ultimately gandhi approved the settlement at 25% so here you need to understand the amount of refund was less important than the fact that the landlords had been obliged to surrender part of the money and with it part of their prestige gandhi's concern about cultural and social backwardness in champaran he tried to remove social and cultural backwardness in champaran gandhi ji appealed for teachers devdas gandhi ji's youngest son and several others volunteered primary schools were opened in six villages and kasturbai taught ashram rules on personal cleanliness and community sanitation castor oil quinine and sulfa ointment were the three medicines that were available there cf andrew charles freer andrew a devoted follower of gandhi came to bid farewell to gandhi gandhi's loyal friends urged andrew to stay there and help them gandhi ji opposed the idea he asked the lawyers to rely upon themselves to win the battle so self reliance 
Indian independence and help to share croppers were all interlinked. You can understand that one. Self-reliance was taught by Gandhiji through this episode. And children, now you do have a worksheet followed by this mind map. Have a look at this worksheet now. Here it is. So a few blanks have been given here. You need to write down the answers. In 1942, who visited ashram at Sevagram? You need to write it down. The author, Louis Fisher, visited ashram at Sevagram. In 1917, Gandhiji decided to urge the departure of British. So you need to write it down. So upon listening to this video, the explanation, you must have understood the gist of the lesson and you need to write it down here, the answers for all these blanks. Upon completion, what you need to do, you need to submit this worksheet or send me the answers or type the answers here in the comment box so thus gandhiji decided to fight against injustice he waged a war which lasted for a year to tackle the discrimination and got justice for the peasants thank you children thanks for listening to me patiently please do like share and subscribe bye bye